Hey, JB. Um, obviously, Devonte hit some shots tonight. You said that you wanted to, you needed to do what you could to to help him along the way. Was there a concerted effort to find shot open shots for him tonight? Did is there anything you guys talked about before the game? Yeah, the the biggest thing we talked about is just letting it go, letting it fly. The biggest thing uh, we found him some open looks, out of timeouts. We got him some good looks. That's that's on me to find him some better looks. Uh, than he had been getting. So uh, I like the looks he had. He looked much more confident. That was the Devontae that, that we know. And uh, I believe that will only get better over time. Thanks. Sam? Hey, JP, how would you kind of compare and contrast the two Philly games? What Did you do anything different tonight that you didn't do on Saturday? Was there anything working tonight that wasn't or vice versa? How would you kind of compare? Then, then we couldn't score tonight. So 43 points in the first half. It was a four-point ball game with two minutes to go. We couldn't find the bucket, and it bled over into our transition defense. And this is the discipline we have to figure out. Until we figure out the offense and find guys that can score and put the ball in the hole, we're going to have to play defense consistently, get back, transition. And it's a grind, but we got to do that. that. That's our job right now. And, uh, you know, we'll keep working to uh, correct the offense, whether that's, um, you know, the, the type of shots we're getting, or lineups, um, I, I got to figure that out. Thank you. Raphael. Hey, Coach, Raphael with the three-point conversion. Coach, um, you mentioned that second quarter, um, end of the first quarter, going into the mid, way into the second quarter, you all jumped into that lead, um, especially when the mellow ball came into the game. Is he gaining more of your confidence each game as he played? Yeah, I got more and more confidence in LaMelo. Um, he affects the game when he comes in with his energy, his spirit, his playmaking. Um, obviously, he's a rookie and he's young and he's gonna. there's going to be mistakes out there every single night. And there were tonight, but we got to correct those and get better. But uh, he's got my trust and, um, you know, he's got to continue to get better and grow every game, though. Did you expect for him to... I guess, in your eyes, grow like he is now so so quickly. I know it's still defensively he's not there yet, but just his game going each night, is like he's getting more confident. Did you expect him to grow this rapidly? I mean, I, I, I didn't have any expectations. I just, you know, coach him one day at a time, and he, he grasps things quickly. He's got high IQ. He picks things up uh, day after day. He's asking questions. He has the answer before I even ask the question, so – um, he, he's a special player. Thanks. Rod? JB, with points in the paint and the rebounding battle, you guys aren't seeming to win in those and these games you're losing. How do you try to fix that? And, and what can you do to alleviate what you guys have going on in there right now inside? Well, we've talked about winning the paint. You know, we've done it a number of games. Tonight was not our night. Um, you know, Philly's a big physical team. And, you know, being being without Zeller's obviously affecting us. Um, you know, it's a, it's a lot on biz, and um, that's just where we're at. I got to figure it out, and we'll figure it out together. Um, it's a major impact on the on the paint, though, and we got to continue to attack the paint and try to get easy ones for ourselves. And then our number one goal defensively is to pre protect the paint. Obviously, tonight uh, was not our night to do that, uh, but in general, I thought we'd done pretty well there. Give them credit. They're a big physical team inside, and uh, you know they're one of those teams on the interior that's given us trouble over the last couple of years. And without the depth on the interior, it makes it tough on us. We'll close it out with Richard Walker. Uh, Richard Walker, Carolina Sports Hub coach uh, Borrego. Uh, when you look at this matchup, it seems to continue to struggle. The schedule is unforgiving. You know, how do you? Uh, figure out a way to get this figured out. You mentioned rotation and better shots. Was putting Malik Monk and giving him a, a little bit of run kind of one of those, give him a chance and see what happens? Or, you know, wh what are you looking at for potential changes moving forward? Well, we got we just got to be better. Overall, we got to be better. Um, I don't have an answer for you right now as far as lineups and, you know, who's going to be in the rotation uh, in a couple nights. Uh, I'm going to process this, watch the film, digest it a little bit more make some tweaks and it could be could be anywhere. I don't, I'm not seeing there's going to be any lineup changes. We just got to be better.